Okay, so there is a bit of uh, the Scott Adams was wrong and Scott Adams was right. There is a bit of a heuristic of not believing anything the liberals ever say ever that that serves you very well. And um, right now is another example with economic stuff that there is no uh, recession. The, uh, the, the feds are saying, oh, don't worry, the recession's going to cool off, um, this, that, and the other. Of course, the, this, is the, the, there's, this is very unlikely. It's actually very likely that we're going to hit one of the, uh, something that, I mean, th- many people are basically saying the way the numbers are coming together, they can't really fathom how bad the downturn's going to be. All over the place, you're seeing people post on social media how hard it is to get by. That that and to the point that there's entire reels now of TikToks. I think that's what they call them, reels or something, of these women just crying about how difficult it is now to survive, um, and that from the surroundings they're in. They're not in like a hovel. They, the, the looks of these women are, are women of uh, good, solid, working class health, probably working in fields that are not uh, based out of intense labor. Um, so it's, it's this kind of thing of like, so this is somebody who's fundamentally normal and not like a brokey or poor as hell. Um, and she can't make it to the point that she's driven to tears in public. And, and I really want, like, just think about that one. That it's normal women recording themselves driven to tears by the conditions of the day. And that we're still being told, no, everything is fine. Everything's totally cool. You know, it's... That, People drop it, young people, young athletes specifically, young athletes dropping over from diseases that affect pretty much only the most elderly who've lived their lives poorly. Just keeling over and dying with no, no, no indication that, there, that there's any reason why that should have happened. Everything's fine. No, no. And, and any, any doubts of this make you some kind of, like, a really, really, like, immensely bad person who's very unsafe to have around. The Democrats need to figure out a way of dealing with people like you because you notice things. <laughs> so now it's this thing of, um, I, I was watching Benny Johnson fundamentally get black people to kind of humiliate themselves without even really he wasn't even really trying that hard he was at a Tampa convention of black American fraternities or he seemed to be in that area around a convention center just looking for people to ask questions so he started asking people about their favorite accomplishment what are they what are they What's the, what's the accomplishment of Kamala Harris that they like best? Now, most of them could say, they couldn't say anything. They couldn't name anything that was an actual policy, was something, no action, no real actions. The one that was the most commonly said is she made it. She became vice. The other is she was born her. She's her. That's her accomplishment. So she's the table. Joe Biden bought himself this, 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 uh, this, this nice table that just sits there and looks like it. Well, no, no, he bought a used table. He bought a very used table. And everybody has to sit there and, and compliment his table all the time. You know, you can't say, wow, well, I mean, this is kind of used. Its style is kind of old. You know, the edges aren't so great looking anymore. 
you know, I kind of think it's maybe a little cattywampus, you know, I, I think that one side, the leg might be off a little, like one of the coasters isn't on the bottom anymore. Um, we all have to pr praise this, this relatively useless table. And that these would have been men that if they could afford at this time to go to a convention in Tampa for their variety of um, uh, fraternities, these should have been men who would have been able to say, name something. These, these, are, these are educated men. They're college-educated men. These are college fraternities. These are very likely the graduates, you know, and these are alumni. These were older men. These were men like my age and a little older. So they should have known, they should have had something to say, some accomplishment that they would have been, and then, and then it was favorite quote. Nobody even attempted a quote. That, that nobody even gave that an attempt. <laughs> um, now, of course, Benny Johnson kind of threw some things in here and there on the side, you know, when he edited it, that made it funny. Um, but j my whole thing is the fact that these guys couldn't say anything. When they did have some way, they're like, yes, see, she just got the job as VP. That's her greatest accomplishment. And, and I'm just like, no, 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 you're a black fraternity member with your regalia on. No, you can't say that. Like, you got to point out what she did. <laughs> I just so it's it's it it's it once again one of those moments of just and another sector of what we count on in society collapsing. With just rational older men that just being honest about about weaknesses and strengths. I mean just period. That's all it is, you know. Can't have that. So it's this now this heuristic of there's there there's just people who can't handle reality. That's what it is now. It's just a heuristic of it, right? and and then there's people that we kind of get the score. You know, like we get we understand what's uh, what's going on, and, and it's because we say, oh yeah, you you benefit from it like that. Okay, yeah, got it. Right.